Bro, y'all over here tripping over Supreme Oreos. They already got them at Target, bro. They're just in the shape of egg and they're not really red. They're like something other. They're like peach. Dream crew, dream crew, dream crew. Yeah. They just want to do it how we do. Yeah. Living my life like the Beatles. Oh. I just pulled up with some lethal. So what Supreme and Oreo should do is they should release the collab everywhere. Kind of how like they did with the Travis Scott Reese's Puffs collab. Literally have it so that it's at like Target's, Walmart's, all over the place. So the world just goes crazy. That would be insane. I got some packages. Oh, I think there's something in here for you too. Five pillars, shout out to the Farouk gang. I got the pink hoodie for Mina and like the, the green hoodie for me. This says love in Arabic. I'll link them down below if anybody wants to pick up these hoodies. So I met this homie in Chicago and he's like a reseller and he DM'd me literally the day we were leaving and he's like, yo, I got these and I was like, I need them. So I paid him for them and he shipped them to me and they're here. I have seen these before, but this is like, obviously I own the pair now, so I'm so excited. Oh yeah, hit the intro. <laughs> What's in the box? Oh my god. QNTM, aka Quantum. Size 11. Please clip that it's a size 11. If you guys have been watching this channel, you know I'm not a size 11, I'm a size 10. So apparently these did not come out in half sizes and apparently they fit small. So I had to go a full size up, which is kind of scary, but we're gonna test these out. Here they are guys. These are so, so sick. So yeah, these came out in Chicago only apparently. I don't, I'm pretty sure they're gonna, you know, they always drop those exclusive titles, but then they end up releasing them. They do look like, Who's this? Hello? So yeah, they have been reviewed before by other YouTubers. I think Seth Fowler did one and it did really great. But the difference between me and Seth Fowler, no disrespect to him, I love the guy, but he ain't a baller like me. I'm actually playing these. So I'm, I'm actually gonna hoop in these. I'm gonna be the first guy, I think, to do a performance review on the Yeezy basketball shoes. Let's find out what my friends think about these. That boy Jacob just dropped a hot one. Boy had to drop a bomb in my uh, apartment, huh? Hey, but I cleaned the toilet seat, you know? So it's like, yo, are these mine? These are mine, what do you think? Yeezy basketball shoe, first Yeezy basketball shoe. What's crazy to me is that you never used the other one as clickbait. Which one? The one I had. Yeah, you, yeah. you, you could have used this for clickbait so long ago. I know I could have, but. you didn't. But well, we're gonna do it now with the performance review. <laughs> I just caught I them. seen those like two months ago. Oh yeah, I seen them like two months ago. These are kind of cold, dog. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, these are the lifestyle or the basketball version? I believe that's the lifestyle version. Lifestyle. Yeah. Oh, there's two versions? Yeah, there's one that's like fused. And I think the fused version is for basketball so that the knit is more like durable. Yeah, I'm gonna try them on right now. It's a it, size I mean, 11. Cool. I like how we launched them. They're yeah, launched. Cool bro, game. that looked like some dark He's night. Like He was giving in those crazy vehicles yeah he was like, giving away and, and he launched he launched the first well his first basketball shoot in chicago for all-star weekend which is oh, Michael Jordan's home. So yeah. the whole concept of like the whole launch of this was perfect literally looked like and they filmed dark knight in chicago most yeah, of it so it's like that's gotham city so yeah, it's like crazy like i'm gonna Oh, oh, okay. Yo, shout out to this guy. He is literally the GOAT because he actually went to the Kobe Memorial today and he got an extra set of the shirt and book and everything that they gave out. And instead of selling it like some of the scumbags in this world, he hit me up and he said he wanted to give it to me. He hit me up on Instagram and obviously like I couldn't say no to this because I did not get tickets to the event, but thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Anything you want to say to the camera? Don't worry about it, Kais. And all I want to say is like a lot of YouTubers out there get give back to their fans. Sometimes like your the fans have to give back to the YouTubers. And I really appreciate all the YouTubers out there, especially you guys. And I hope Barwadis watches this cuz you're, <laughs> you're my guy, Barwadis. Yo, shout out to Barwadis. I'll make <laughs> yeah. sure he watches this. I'll send yeah. them I'll send them the clip. For sure. And you know what? Keep grinding both of you. Barwadis, keep balling out. You're great. And Kais, you're the GOAT. Thank and did you. you watch when we 1v1? I beat him one time, he beat me one time. Yeah, I saw that. If yeah. I challenge him to a rematch, who's going to win? Him or me? Uh, I'm sorry guys, was broad. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> this guy has a good heart, man. I really do appreciate it and you're the GOAT, bro. Thank oh you, bro. Appreciate Thank you, man. You Have fun at work and uh, yeah, like I yeah. said, I'll, I'll hit you up. We'll keep in touch, man. Yeah. All right, here we go. Got the shoes on court. Now we are on a basketball court, but we are inside of Mag Park. So, I mean, I can still give a sneaker review in here because there's a court. Cushion wise, they feel good. Traction wise, they feel good. They're just, they feel heavy. <laughs> Come on, man, you're, you're, you're letting Kanye down. Oh my God. Hold on, do that again so I can go down so it looks higher. <laughs> oh, yo, hit that, hit that, you gotta hit it. Oh. <laughs> yo, kinda 
good. Like, I actually think I could play a full game in these. For real? Yeah, the cushion feels good. Oh, look. Like, cool. Yeah, this food's still bouncing the ball after it knows it's flat. Ooh. So I don't know how many people are actually gonna care about this, but this is a big deal Nobody to me. Nobody except for you. I did. I think someone else is gonna care. This is the round table pizza by Mina's parents' house. Look at the logo. I don't know. It just looks weird. Like even that round logo right there. This is definitely round table, right? Here, let me park in front of it so you can continue to talk about something that nobody cares about. If this is their new logo, it's very disappointing because it does not. <laughs> Like if I see this on the freeway and I'm craving pizza, I won't even realize that this is round table and that's very disappointing. He's like, I'm worried about the franchise. I'm really worried about the franchise. They're not headed in the right direction. And how about the fact that he made me drive all the way to the other side of the freaking shopping center just so he could freaking... <laughs> round table, if you guys are watching this, please change this. All right, guys, I do want to give you my honest opinion on the Yeezy Quantum basketball shoes. Before I get into the details and how I feel about the shoe on and off the court, I want to make a quick announcement. I've Tease this over the last few vlogs, but I'm officially putting a date out there now. Sneakerheads Be Like Part 8 is coming in March. I'm actually going to be uploading the trailer this Saturday on the Kai Somar channel. The trailer will be up. And then next Saturday, March 7th, will be Sneakerheads Be Like Part 8 on the Kai Somar channel. Also, on top of all that, March 8th, I'm actually gonna be in Tampa. I'm gonna be in Tampa for the Sneaker Traveler Sneaker Show. It's like a sneaker convention, it's gonna be crazy. A lot of dope people are gonna be there. I'm gonna be there. So if you are in Tampa, Florida, make sure you guys pull up. This is literally gonna be the day after I upload Sneakerheads Be Like. So I'm super excited to just be fresh off of the video and be at the event and get people's actual opinions and whatnot. So if you're in Florida, Tampa, Florida, pull up. It's gonna be absolutely insane. I'm so excited. So yeah, man, that's all the info going on. I cannot wait for you guys to see Sneakerheads be like part eight. It's honestly like I've put so much into it and it's, it's not done yet. We're still filming it, but film the trailer and everything and you will see some behind the scenes as well. So it's going to be dope. Easy quantum basketball shoes. First things first, sizing. Now, as you saw, I got a size 11 in these bad boys because they don't make half sizes. Size 10 would have been too tight. A size 11 is a tad bit too big, but if I wear a thicker sock, I'll be okay. A 10 and a half would have been perfect. I don't know why Adidas does this. They've done it with the 750s. They just didn't make a half size now the shoe itself is a little heavy it's uh, i would compare it to like a lebron it's not the type of basketball sneaker that i would want to play in every single day but obviously just me being the high beast i am i want to play basketball in an easy basketball shoe so i'll bust these out influencer game or something like that like those are the types of events where i'll bust this out where i know i'm not going to play good but at least i'll look good all right i'm just joking now like i said the shoe is a tad bit heavy and that is probably because of the boost it reminds me of the crazy i, I forgot it was called the crazy basketball shoe. It was like Adidas first basketball shoe that had boost in it. It was kind of heavy, but they were super comfortable and like a really good basketball shoe. The upper felt fine. Like I said, it was a little loose because it was a size 11. This is like a nylon right here, like what scuba divers wear. And then this part right here, this is, this is just like a weird shape for a basketball shoe. It like your foot fits in there, but then like this upper area pushes your foot forward. So it's kind of hard to have the perfect fit because this is just popping out and it's empty space. It, it didn't really bother me, but it was just kind of awkward and it makes you feel like the shoe fits bigger than it actually is the laces are way too long for the shoe too i don't know if that has anything to do with this being a lifestyle version of the basketball shoe and that's and that's a whole nother subject the whole lifestyle version versus a basketball version like just give us a damn basketball shoe you don't need to make two versions of it it just confuses everyone we don't know if we should play in this one we don't know if it's the same performance like what could you put in here differently that's going to be more performance wise the midsole is going to be the same the only difference is the upper which I don't care we play in knitted shoes now so I'm gonna play basketball in these so yeah man overall it's a good basketball shoe I will be playing it in the future it's not gonna be my go-to basketball shoe I know this is the lifestyle version like I stated before but I'm still playing them because a basketball shoe is a basketball shoe to me there was times when I left my shoes at home and I, I had Chuck Taylors on or I had like Vans on and I still played basketball because I wanted to play so it doesn't really matter to me I'll still play in these because I think they're dope so if you are thinking about buying these and you want to pay the resale price of 600 plus dollars I would 
say do it if you are a big fan of the shoe don't do it because you're looking for a new pair of basketball shoes do it because you want the Yeezy basketball shoe like if you want to go get a good performance basketball shoe there's plenty of LeBron's and Kyrie's and Paul George's out there that would definitely be better than this but if you're looking to stunt on the court and break some necks because you want to be the guy wearing Yeezy's on the court go for it you'll get a good performance shoe and you'll look really good so yeah all right guys that wraps up the video thank you guys for watching make sure you guys hit that thumbs up subscribe if you are new here again sneakerheads be like is coming march 7th trailer is coming this saturday on the kai somar channel march 8th i'll be in tampa florida make sure you guys pull up i'm out of here dream crew family love you peace dream crew dream crew dream crew yeah. they just want to do it how we do yeah. living my life like the beatles Ooh. i just pulled up with some lethal Ooh. they get it mad and deceitful yeah. i make it hard to be peaceful yeah. they tell me i got an ego but i'm putting up for my people